What's up guys, I'm Keith Kelfis and in this video, I'm gonna share my experience after having the 2017 Ford F-150 for two years. And to tell you the truth, this is gonna be an unorthodox video review because I'm gonna share with you the real story about this truck and me right after this. All right, so here's the truth about this truck. Two years ago, I was sick and tired of my old work trucks breaking down repeatedly. Every other week, my trucks were in the shop, and I have a landscaping business. I have a lot of places that I have to be at once, just like you do. And when my trucks were breaking down and I was calling clients telling them, oh, we can't make it because my truck broke down, that's an excuse that you, you just can't tell your clients if you're trying to run a professional business. And I loved my old trucks. I was the guy who said I would never, ever, ever get a brand new truck because it's a waste of money. And you know what? Enough breakdowns, it drove me to the dealership actually desperate. Got both trucks are broken down. So I've got a brake line blown on one, it's useless. And then I got my other truck trying to hook up the trailer to it. And all the electrical is screwed on it. So I got forced in the truck right now doing light tests while I got the light meter. I've checked all the fuses, everything inside and out, doing light tests. And the phone is ringing. Private. Damn it. I'm so frustrated right now. People calling me off the hook. I've got a customer waiting right now, two hours late. The customer's waiting. Uh, another guy is waiting. A guy's on the clock, and we're sitting here. I'm sitting here trying to fix electrical uh, for two days straight now. Money up the wazoo going down the drain. I'm losing. I can't even explain. Guy's sitting on the clock, and another guy waiting. A client waiting that I just had to call and reschedule. Scrambling to get these trucks fixed. Money's going down the drain, and. And a customer just called me saying, where are you at? You're supposed to be on my quote. You're supposed to be here for my estimate uh, a half an hour ago. You didn't show up. I'm like, oh my God, I'm scrambling with trucks. And I have another quote I'm supposed to be at right now. So I got to find a way to drop off both these trucks to auto care centers, spend seven, 800 bucks to get them fixed because that truck, my other truck needs a wheel bearing replacement too. And I've lost over going about $2,000 in the hole within five days here. And here's the real story of why I got this truck when I started my small business. I had a 1993 Dodge Dakota. I called it the Blue Goose. I scraped together change to get that truck for $600. And when I started my small business with this old truck I called the Blue Goose, I was literally scared every single day that it would break down. And but it got me from job to job to job. It was embarrassing, but you know what? I, I, I was so proud of it and I loved it because it helped me get my business off the ground. And the day that thing finally blew up, the motor blew up on the freeway. This was like six years ago. Fingers crossed, my wife and I had just enough money out of uh, when we got married. We got a couple, uh, what's it called? Wedding gifts? We got some wedding gifts and we were able to scrape together just enough money for me to get the next truck, which was a 2001 Dodge Dakota. And I got that thing off of Craigslist. There we were making it and surviving on a shoestring. And if that truck broke down, I would have been totally screwed. This is my 24th or 26th vehicle. I have it all counted. 
and I've had multiple, I mean, I literally spent the first, t from, from 16 to 26 years old, from, from, from when I got my driver's license to 26 years old, was repeatedly saving up for a year, buying a car, the motor blowing up in the first week, walking, riding bikes, taking buses, saving up for another year, buying another car, and then within a month, the transmission blowing up walking, riding bikes, taking buses, saving up for another year, buying another car, and the motor blowing up the first day, saving up, buying another car. And you're like, oh, you're really stupid. I would have just dropped stupid. Why don't you just go buy a new car? Why don't you just drop 12 grand and go buy? Because when you're flat broke and you've got nothing and you're cutting lawns for 10 bucks an hour, struggling to survive, you take whatever you can get. I was buying cars from $400 to $1,400, right? I was so broke and it was so frustrating. So, fast forward up to my first F-150. In 2014, I got my first F-150. I was so embarrassed driving that 2001 Dodge Dakota, but that thing got me from job to job to job. And then it appeared on Craigslist. I was searching every single day, five times a day at F-150s. And I never even believed I could even afford an F-150. It's gonna be a gas guzzler, a V8. I won't even be able to afford the gas. And I scraped together $1,350 and got a 1998. And, nine, and, and so this is 2014. I got a 1998 F-150. It was silver and I nicknamed it the bear. It's, it's in a bunch of my YouTube videos. That truck, I got it with 174,000 miles on it, yet it was in really nice condition. And when I got that truck, I spent four hours detailing it and scrubbing the rims and waxing it and changing the oil. I literally cried because I was I was like, dude, I got an F-150 down. I got my first F-150. First F-150. I didn't, I didn't even care that it was like 17 years old. It was it was literally like one of the oldest trucks on the road, but it was brand new to me. Like I love my old 1998 F150 more than I love this truck right here. I don't like I don't even care about it as much. It's because the feelings of the the, the striving and the struggling of taking a, a, a truck to the shop and praying it won't break down on you and changing the brake pads on it and doing everything you have to do to make ends meet with your fingers crossed. Like you, you can develop an emotional bond with the truck because that's the truck that got you through the hardest times in your life. Well guys, today is an interesting, exciting, scary day for me. In the last month, I've gotten rid of my old Dakota. Just, I didn't trust it even on the road to have myself or other guys driving it as a work commercial vehicle anymore, so I sold it for cheap. I just needed a little bit of work. But anyways, this old 98 F-150 has like 215,000 miles on it. And I maintained it, I checked the oil on it, but we beat, we beat the piss out of that truck and I got my money's worth. It's time to get rid of it, okay? So uh, I'm selling it for really, really cheap. I mean, I'm actually gonna scrap it because I don't wanna sell it to somebody else and then the motor blow up. Yeah, I can't live with that, you know? Because I know what that, that's like. So I'm cleaning it out right now. And this is an emotional moment for me. When you've worked yourself to death, you know, I'm not even gonna go into all that. You already know where I'm at. So this old 2006 F-150 was a dream come true to me just to get a 2006. Just to get a 2006 was a dream come true to me. I looked at these old trucks and these were brand new trucks to me. These were brand new trucks to me. The day I got this, even though this thing was an old roofing truck and I got it for 2,500 bucks, you know? I've been in my business for years and I've never had just 20,000 sitting around to go blow on a truck. That was always emergency money, bill money, tax money, right? But today I'm going to the Ford dealership to look at a 2017 Ford F-150. I don't want a 2500 or any of that stuff. I just, uh, I don't want it. I don't want to pay to park it. It will also be my daily driver. So, um, who knows if I get approved, I'm gonna go put $4,000, $4,400 down on this truck and have monthly payments 
and now I'm at the point I'm over the edge. I was gonna try, oh, maybe I could just fix it one more time. Maybe I could just fix it, right? And I went to drive it, and then this tire's flat because it's a dry rot, right? And it's falling apart on me, so it's time. It is time. <sighs> and it's raining, this truck right now. And as I was cleaning out the truck, I haven't, I don't remember last time I cried, bro. Like, I was sitting there hugging the seat. Fucking. <laughs> Fuck! Ah, <laughs> uh, I know this uh, badass entrepreneur who once told me, he said, uh, you know, he was obviously in the Marines and shit too, but he's like, if, if you ever have to cry, go and in closet and cro close the door and cry where nobody can hear you and see you and get it out and wipe your face off and then go back out and don't tell anybody about it here I am fucking because it's that's powerful shit man so fear this when, when, when at one point when you finally get a, a truck that you can run your business with and feed your family and you know it's it's a dream come true to get that old piece of shit truck one day and you cry when you buy it because you're proud of yourself because you got that old piece of shit truck and that's your truck I do I used to dream at having an f-150 when I when I had an old shitty Dakota I'm like oh I couldn't even, I couldn't even afford the gas when I first started that's how I thought I was like I'm gonna just buy Dakotas man I, an f-1 and I and then you get an f-150 you're like this is a turd <laughs> <laughs> I need an F-350 and an F-550 to have an F-25 million. And, so the day you got to get rid of it or sell it, it's like a relationship, man. I can't put, I'm way too fucking emotional. That's the problem. So, I'm going to get rid of this whole piece of shit. And that's about that. But the point of what I'm saying is you gotta let go. You have to let go of shit or you're never gonna be successful. Ooh, that's a huge lesson right there. So we're pulling the trigger and we're going to the dealership to get a brand new truck. Cool? Cool. All right, let's and go. And I just got a brand new car. And you just got a brand new car too. Okay, we'll see you at the dealership. <laughs> I'm really weirded out right now. Because I'm in a new truck. I don't think it's hit me yet. Whoa, dude. And I have a panic attack, man. It's weird. Okay. Bye. <laughs> what the? There it is. I don't know am I supposed to. I don't know how to feel about it yet. I think I'm in shock. But, I mean, it's not like I'm just like lucky and I just like. I said, oh, I'm gonna go get a new truck. I grinded and toiled and felt unworthy and I was in an anxiety and I wanted to back out several times and I did the math and I paid a shitload of taxes for three years straight and showed a whole bunch of income and worked my, my nuts off to the bone. <laughs> it was so... There you go. I earned I I earned it and I deserve it. I guess. I still feel really bad for kids that are starving in poor countries and people that can't get stuff like that. And people that don't have driver's licenses and I feel that every second of the day. So I do not it's, I'm just like got a new truck, but it's a huge deal to me. Huge deal to me. I never grew up in any family where anybody had a brand new truck or had anything nice. So this is a big deal for me. All right, let's go get some dinner, honey. Okay. It was my first F-150, 
and I remember I was cleaning everything out of it because I knew it was time to let it go. And it, it was almost like putting a dog down or something. Like I, it was like putting a sick dog down. And I remember like, I'm gonna try to find the footage here, but I like hugged the seat of the truck and I just started bawling my eyes out because I knew that it was time to go. And I never knew that you could have that type of an emotional attachment to a truck. That's what a truck is. That's what a truck is. That's what a truck is, okay? And I'm like crying. And I say goodbye. And the sound of the ding when the when the doors open, ding, 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 ding. Well, you just like, no, that's your truck, dude. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, let me know in the comments below what kind of truck you have and how long you've owned it and what you like and dislike about it. Alright, so I want to know in the comments below, I want to know in the comments below what kind of truck you have and what you like and dislike about it. You know the dude that at the gas station, he pulls up in his brand new truck in the summer, he's got the windows down and the music up, and he pulls it all fast and you can hear the tires chirp and he stops on a dime and his, his truck's and he gets out like he's the man and he walks into the gas station and you look at him like, dude, that guy, I would, that, I hate that guy. I would never want to be that guy. That guy thinks he's so cool because he's got a truck? Are you literally that shallow that you think you're cool because you've got a brand new truck? Like, I really, like, I don't know where that came from, but, like, I... Check, 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 check. Ah!